Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Required. Where we last left off, we've infiltrated the World's Fair in order to try to stop the evil plans of uh, Napoleon Le Roche, who is basically trying to like act like he, he wants to um, send some giant dog robot to, like, to destroy the world or something. And we've uh, got Wa Walter Wireless, a little, uh... That won't do me any good. I'm not actually sure what, like, species he is. Like, he's some sort of flying insect. Tracking bug here. Yeah, so we need to take him to Wee World because he's got a, um, a message from a certain Dotty Dash. Then we also talked to this lady, who's like a... I guess the care tender, the care care t care care oh, oh, caregiver, caretaker of the um of this uh botanical garden here. And uh, we've noticed that uh this Venus flytrap. It's some kind of combination lock for this display cage. We don't really know this combination, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. This Venus flytrap has got the button, the off switch we need. But, uh, and she'll, I think she says she'll Would give it to us. Have a red rose in that display case? Yes. Yes. Although, instead of a beauteous red rose, I have a... Well, look at it. What comes to mind? A vicious so we... mutant Venus flytrap. In a locked Shoot. cage for which I have no combination. Plus, it has something stuck in its mouth. On closer inspection, it appears to be the off switch. We need the, the combination to that cage. We need to get a red rose. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if we need to get the red rose, like if she, like if she can supply that for us, but um, we need, definitely need to open the cage. We have a picture of a key that we need to get developed. We need to, like, uh, find an oven or something. Here we hear some... Um, We're at the foot of the beast. Hmm. Ooh. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. That must be the secret door La Roche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dogbot. I need to figure out how to get in there. We had seen that guy, or we had seen some people coming in here on the binoculars. No. Rose tinted glasses might come in handy. I'm pretty sure we also met a um a sort of crestfallen stuntman who wanted some red glasses. So let's uh, come back. I'd better answer my spy watch. Ooh. Please stand by. Spy Fox, an informant has a hot tip about the off switch and is waiting for you at the Food of the Future exhibit. Ask for the candy apple. The candy apple. Got it. Thanks. Monkey okay then. Off. So I imagine that's the uh, place with out. the sheep, the sheep twins, Dolly and Dolly and Dolly and Dolly. Look like a daredevil whose luck has run out. You got me. Dead to rights. It's all over. The slightly overweight lady has sung. When did your luck run out? Well, son, I was getting ready for my infamous out of the cannon act. During the setup, my assistants misplaced my lucky clear goggles. What's so lucky about them? I see through them for starters. I can't hit That's very lucky. Without them. They left a pair of dark goggles for me to wear instead. Well, with me around, I'm sure your luck will change. Hopefully not from bad to worse. Johnny Blaze has uh, seen better days. That's not going to do me any good. That won't do me any... I'd like to borrow those dark goggles, Cod. And I'd like to lend them to you, son, but I need to wear something during the act. At least they will take the attention off that shirt. I guess... That won't do me any good. Are, are these not actually... Cause, he, Cause they mentioned that they're rose tinted, any good. and uh, I guess like he wants clear, so I guess rose tinted. Cause you could kind of argue that like you know you could be rose tinted but still be clear, and that they're trans, trans, translucent, or whatever. 
But, uh, it's, it's possible that, uh, the lady here, uh, wants... Wasn't this the place where the sheep the sheep were early before earlier? But I'm, I'm wondering if like maybe because the rose tinted. It's a pair of rose tinted glasses. We'll, we'll, we'll keep those. We'll keep those in mind. I like applesauce, don't you? We don't have applesauce on the stick anymore, honey. It kept sliding off. You want to ask for the candy apple? So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on stick. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go. A free Convenient. candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the <laughs> candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Yeah, I was wondering, like, you know, it would be awkward, you know, if she, if she is, if she really is an informant and, you know, some, you know, some, uh, random guy just, just happened to want a candid apple. Now run along and enjoy the fair, pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh, well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. You want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox. Listen close. There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. Very suspicious to look at the, the worm, Listen the apple that you were about to eat. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Now I've got to split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. <laughs> All right, save yourself. We've got some sort of leaf. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me. That Can you read it? Any oh. good. Let's Please call a uh, monkey penny. Life, well, I got the candy apple, but Agent Lenny gave me a code that's too small to read. Maybe it's too late to shape an opinion. Open your mind. Monkey Penny, out. Good thing I like riddles, or this could be frustrating. Open your mind. Too late well, to shape an opinion. Center. It's too late to shape an opinion. Open your that's mind. going to do me any good? I think this actually, this, this is probably the place with, yeah, this is the place with the, uh, sheep. I'm not sure if we really need to clone anything. Oh, we could perhaps. Now this is, you know, this is these are binoc. Oh wait, that's wrong. I was gonna think about using the uh, you know, using those binoculars. Like, you know, they're they're binoculars. They wouldn't really. Work for something like this. I, I feel, but you never know. In order to enter through that secret door into the dog bot, I'll need glasses like that bad guy was wearing and the right breath. So we have the glasses. I can't see what that evil person ate. Oh, I, I see. I need up to look over that bad guy's shoulder. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get you now. So we need to eat Wearing the right thing. Glasses all over the fair will give me a headache. So I guess you know the the sensor basically is able to detect like the little particles of food in our breath. And so we need to eat a certain something we need to eat a certain food. I can't remember where It says the world's fair.
Oh, that's a nice rose. It's the 1974 Golden Melon Skates Trophy for best sneeze during a performance. <laughs> that must be the coveted chilling statue of a mobilization. It's given to the person who can stand on ice skates in the rink without moving for the longest time. That's the 1996 Big Pig Biathlon Cup, given to the couple who can play go fish while ice dancing. It seems I would watch that. Big Pig has won every year since it began. I had no oh, idea yes. it was so graceful. Mr. Big Pig, I'm pretty sure, is the Big Pig from Spy Fox 1, who we played go, go fish with. It's the 1981 Silver Cup for the best triple mid-air coffee pour going to the masked she-bear. I need ice skates to ice skate. Well, I think we have... Here's where I keep my... Uh, we do have... We, we do have ice... We do have the ice skates. I like roses. I throw one only to skaters who do a perfect double sour cow. I can gather information about the double sour cow ice skating move with this talk balloon. Ask him about it. Can you tell me how to do a double sour cow? Sorry, kid. I don't have a clue. But I hear that there's an ex-ice skater working somewhere at the fair. Thank you. Because uh, he, he might be talking about... um. So imagine we have to learn about it first before we actually are able to, you know, put it into the... You know, program it into the shoes, into the skates. But um, the she bear, the mass she bear, was a uh, over here, I think. Where, where was she at? I think she was at like the souvenir shop. Oh yeah, here's the the binoculars. Let's come back up here and get a good look. close up this is as far as I can go I know it's a breath analyzer but I can't see what breath is shown on that screen doesn't look like we can really see what he's eating can I put the glasses on here Okay, so let's... Everything looks rosy behind a pair of rose-tinted glasses. I can see that ah. breathing into the animal. It looks like some sort of pie. Appearing on screen. It looks like pickle pot pie. Pickle pot that pie. Analyzer is checking for the aroma of pickle pot pie. I just need to eat some pickle pot pie and breathe into that breath analyzer, and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog bot. You don't need the glasses anymore. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the breath analyzer food pickle pot pie. Imagine that for people who are more. You know, well-versed or like connoisseurs of food. Um, the idea of a pickle pot pie would be more, would, would get more of a reaction out of people. But uh, honestly, I, you know, I'm the type of person where I, I, I have very little, hit, little uh, experiences eating pickles or pot pies. So I'm just like, oh yeah, that's a believable food that exists. But I imagine that's probably. Not a real thing. Do you have any pickle pot pie here? Nothing like that here. Only food on stick. You should try the Chateau La Roche restaurant. Try a restaurant, hmm? Nice pickle pot pie and just shove a stick stick on it. The Chateau La Roche restaurant. I doubt that 
The Roche himself is actually tending the place. Let's um head back. There's so there's, there's really so much to like keep up with. Like I really am, I'm, I'm amazed that like you know, five year old me. Oh here yeah, this is just here. Five year old me was able to actually beat this game. The world symbol there. This must be the exit. Ooh. I don't think we really. That's quite a thermometer. Yes, I have to keep a very keen eye on it. If it goes above 80 degrees, the wax figures will start to melt. Then I'll have to run to the phone to call the air conditioning repair place. They put me on hold for hours. It's terribly boring. I can't imagine. I don't think we really need to be here right now. And uh, because of the, you know, the nature of the way that the game can be kind of, is kind of random. Uh, you know, some of these locations actually might not actually factor into this playthrough. I would like to do something where... I don't know, maybe when all is said and done, I can, like, try to do, like, a playthrough of, like, the alternate, like, scenarios. Here, here we are. Let's ask her about... Here's where my notes... The, uh... What do you know about the double sour cow ice skating... Double sour cow. You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the double sour cow as the masked she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. Nice. So we actually got a color diagram. And I was thinking when I when I got these um those skates, I was thinking that it was gonna be more like 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 you just like program like a set of like button like that's like a set of like numbers or something like a, like a code into it. Go right in, Marie. Now let's ask, uh, I, I, I was wondering if we were going to actually ask, uh, LaRoche himself. Let's ask, uh, this lady. Pot pie? Why, I won the Frimp Cooking Medal of Honor for my pickle pot pie. Well, of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one pickle right now. Can't you make it with the one pickle uh -huh. you have? Absolutely not. Good pickle pot pie must be made with exactly two pickles. Here, you can take this one, and if you can find another exactly like it, I'd be more than happy to make you some pickle pot pie. I think I've, uh... Thanks, Chef. Cracked the code. I'll get those for you on the double. We need to find an exact replica. A clone, if you will, of the... This <laughs> pickle oh, that was a nice... Nice egg flip. Personally, I've never... I don't think I ever really... have been able to do that type of thing. Like, I've never really even tried too much. I just... If I were to flip an egg, I would just use a spatula. So, right now... Let me just think. We need to get a pickle pot pie. Yeah, we need to eat the pickle pot pie. Okay, but also... Before we do that, let's just um get the ice skating out of the way. Oh, wait. Which I think is... It's over here. So let's put our That's not going to do me any good. 
Or skates on. Hey, now I'm ready for some ice action. Yeah, that's this should do the trick. I know ice skating. How majestic. Oh, that's, that's great. Seems like a good way to severely injure yourself. So good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. You did it, kid. I haven't seen a move like that since Sonia Henpeck. Well, I imagine that might be like a play on a real person. Maybe. I got the red rose. My love is like a red... I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Apologize. I mean, ice skating always kind of uh, scared me because like it is like... The skates have have blades on them instead of wheels. Like, um, I, you know, I used to go to like a skating rink a lot as a child and definitely had experiences of like... I think I definitely more on more than one occasion like had my fingers like run over um, like if I was I, I don't know maybe like maybe I'm just false remembering it because I'm trying to think of like when what real realistically on what occasion would you actually have your fingers you know run over like why would your fingers be on the ground but like I want to say that that, that might have happened to me at some point so we have, so we have the rose but we don't have the you know, the, um... Is now, this the like... from Lenny, the informant. You know, we don't have the actual code, though, to the Venus flytrap cage, so... Just probably... Hold on, hold on a bit. Hold on tight. <laughs> apple plus DNA equals two apples. I wonder if I could actually clone a rose. Good question. What question? The cloning machine can only replicate. Who am I needed for this? I think roses might be edible by something. You clone it? You got it. Place any one full item on the pad. Press the button. And one becomes two. Two from one. Glad I asked. This really I is like pickle. Don't come running to us with your trouble. I think he wants us to quote it, doll. Very well, late. You do the honors. No. After you, I insist. No, please. After you. I'll do it. Don't touch that. If you could clone food realistically, like that would really be a world changer. Yes, but does it do Julianne Frost? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, me. You speak the truth, doll. I was thinking about how, um, I, was, I, I talked recently about how I, I talked in like the last video how I was, how I was watching um, Ant-Man. And realistically, if you, if you had that technology, that would completely change the world, you know, like, you could shrink cargo, like, like you could basically carry, you know, shrink tons of cargo into like, you know, a pound. Let's uh, yeah, let's get rid of the rose. Because we are a gentleman. <laughs> what are you talking about? Madame, would this rose be suitable? I thank you. Now, if I could only open that display cage, I would replace that mutant fly trap with this beautiful rose. Sadly, however, I was not given the combination. I see. But you can still have the fly trap. Houdini, I'm not. I'll have to find the combination to that locked display cage. So right now we have still not had any... I don't really have any clues for it. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. We also haven't had any... Here's where oh wait. I keep my spy gadgets. It's spy heat. I doubt this will work. That won't do me any yeah, good. I, 
It's the termite grenade. All right, then let's um. I don't think we can really do anything. I was going to try to remember, use the heat on the. Imagine that, like if we had to use the heat, it would be it would be for that uh. Thing with that, like that one third, that place with the thermometer. Go right in, Maurice. I brought you two pickles. Here you are, two big juicy pickles. Wonderful! How exciting that you should find two so identical! They appear to be exactly alike! Perhaps they're related. Bubble Bass, looking nervous. Go with the Kafka, oh, it's a pickle... Pick, fixins, fresh from the Kafka pickle bogs. Huh. The secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully, we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Speaking of which, while we're here, we could probably borrow her oven. That's... Oh, thank you! My breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. Make sure we don't brush, brush our teeth for the next little bit. <laughs> Here's where I keep my spy. Can we use your oven, ma'am? May I use your oven, please? Sorry. Insurance regulations strictly prohibit the use of this oven by anyone other than a trained chef. You don't look anything like a chef. Now, I think I do remember seeing one of those. In one of the buildings we went into, there was like some sort of chef uniform. Let's head back to the mobile command system. Oh, I should get it actually. It's the mobile. It's the mobile command center. Like, like because we're actually in, a, in like a mobile home, mobile home. That's pretty funny. Let's get a new, a new um, tool, a new gadget. The stealth vac. How does it work? You just hook up the handy nozzle, then press vacuum to suck up the particles into the handy travel bag. Or press reverse vac to blow the particles housed in the travel bag back out through the nozzle attachment. And it does it all in perfect silence. Ingenious, Professor Quack. Well, I'm not sure which one... I'd prefer those between two slices of bread, but when duty calls... This is going to be kind of a crapshoot. A fingerprint replicator utensil kit. How does this work, Professor Quack? You'll eat this one up, Spy Fox. You place the fingerprint sending fork device on your target's plate. Then, when they pick it up to start eating, their fingerprint will show up on the fingerprint receiving spoon device. This is hands down one of your best spy it's kind of yet, Professor sinister. Quack. I hope to follow it up with a matching in ingenious shaker. Like basically, it's like, a, it's like a remote control fingerprint. A little goat's milk. Nah, let's not go there. An alarm deactivator. You're not like a remote control, but just a remote fingerprint. Well, it's used to turn off alarms. You'll attach one end to where the alarm signal is coming in, and then attach the other end to where the alarm signal is going out. The alarm signal is then redirected harmlessly into the alarm deactivator, keeping the alarm from going off. It just looks like a wire with two alligator clips on either end. Yes, it's beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? I once printed these on exploding paper, but man, did those cause heartburn. Are you really... 
I'm just gonna go with this one here. This is complete. Uh, like a guess. Of like which one we might need. But we're going a bit long, so I'm gonna call the video there, folks. And next time we'll uh, cont continue the mission. On Let's Play Spy Fox 2 Some Assembly Required. Till next time, Liquid Out.